Hi everybody, today is March the 20th, 2019, and would you believe it's my birthday? I'm 80 years old today. I know I look like I'm 800 years old, but I'm actually only 80. So, I've already received a lot of birthday wishes on internet, and I thank you for everybody that sent them. Okay, but today we're going to talk about the firmament. Now, I'm sure that most of you know what the firmament is, but for those who don't, apparently it might be possible that outside of planet Earth, there's a kind of a shield all the way around it that, that's there for some purpose. And I've had a lot of people asking me if it exists and if, do, if it does, what's it there for and all that. Well, obviously, I don't know any more than you. But I asked the Great White Brotherhood and they've given me a, a download. It's not terribly long, but I'm going to read it to you as usual. So this is from the Great White Brotherhood. The concept of a shield, a cover over planet Earth, has existed since biblical times and before. It has been mentioned in a number of religious texts. The question is, of course, does this firmament really exist? And if it does, what is its purpose? Who created it? And if it is going to exist for oh and if it is going to exist forever we can also ask of what material it is made constructed as it is invisible to the naked eye and is impossible to detect, detect with any scientific instruments so they're talking about this kind of a, a shield of some sort that's all over the planet earth we could also question the opposite point of view. If it does not exist, where did the idea that it does exist come from and who created it? So, in order to answer the question, we need to have some means of detecting it or not. Before we try to investigate whether something we, f we refer to as a firmament exists, let us define the word and trace its origins. Now, we do not wish to get into a theological argument as to which religion invented the term and first noted it in a religious text, as that would be pointless. But we can trace the word back to writings that existed before the Bible as we now know it, to be was created, but that is not surprising as we also know that many comments, stories or remarks, remarks contained in the Old Testament were garnered from very early writings and then adapted, translated and included in the Bible. And the word garnered means gathered together from various sources. As to the origin of the concepts, we know that it was created many thousands of years ago. However, that does not mean that it is true. There are many concepts, many ideas generally accepted that are not true, reincarnation being one of the most widely accepted that is false, as we have often stated. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we can say that the idea of a firmament, a sort of shield covering planet Earth, has existed for a long time. But is it fact because, logically, it either does or does not exist? However, as, as, as if you have followed our teachings, you will know life is seldom as simple as as yes or no. There are usually areas of grey between yes and no. It is up to us to discover where the truth lies. 
There are many problems to finding if the firmament does or does not exist. For instance, as you should know, we all create our own realities. And you'll know that if you've read any of our books, uh, what the Great White Brotherhood have given us, that have talked, talked long and hard about the fact that we create our own reality. Therefore, for some, the planet Earth is a sphere, and for others, it is flat. For some, life before and after our incarnation exists, and for others, we are just born, have our life, and die, and that is all. We could go on, but if one believes something with enough strength, it becomes true to us, and many wars have been fought over beliefs. It is the same with the concept of the firmament. Some believe that it exists, and some believe that it does not. For those convinced that it does not exist, the investigation stops here, as there is nothing to, to investigate. For, the, for, excuse me, for those who are convinced that it does exist, let us continue to try to find out why it, it exists, who made it, from what it is made, and what distance it is from the surface of the earth. Perhaps we can start with what its purpose is. Now, I'll just stop here for a moment because they're going to sort of half explain a lot of things, but they bring it all together at the end. So they're going to sort of not fully explain what they're supposed to be investigating. investigating. For instance, with this one here, it says, perhaps we can start with what its purpose is. And I'll read what they said. We have often mentioned gravity and have proposed that there are two sorts of gravities, thick and thin. And once again, you'll know this if you've read any of our books. They have different uses according to that which needs to be contained or influenced by gravity. Our knowledge of these different types of gravity suggests that if the firmament exists, the coating from which it would be made would be thick. This may seem strange because we already know that planet Earth is surrounded by thick gravity that prevents objects from being ejected from the surface of the planet, and now it would seem that there is a further shield of gravity some distance from the surface of the planet that serves some other use. And they've explained that the idea of gravity is to keep everything stuck down on Earth because Earth is spinning quite rapidly and it's also hurtling round and round the sun at a fantastic speed. And if there was no gravity, all rocks, plants, stones, animals, people would all get flung off into space. So gravity is there to keep us all on the surface of the planet. It cannot be there to stop object... Now, they're talking about this firmament, this other sort of gravity. It cannot be there to stop objects from being ejected from the surface of the planet, as that case already exists, which is the, the gravity around planet Earth. Therefore, we assume that it exists for a different purpose. Let us try to satisfy the question... You see, and they've just stopped there. They haven't really explained what they were going to explain, but they'll bring it all together at the end. Let us try to satisfy the question of how far it is from the surface of plain Earth, planet Earth. This is a difficult one to answer, as we have determined that the gravity of the Earth is sufficient to hold the Moon in orbit. So gravity from the Earth reaches out to the Moon and there's a partial gravity in the Moon and on Earth and that keeps the Moon exactly where it should be, where it is. Um, however, it has been suggested that perhaps 
the gra gravity of the firmament might pass behind the moon, thus keeping the moon prisoner within the confines of the firmament. This might be so, but it would also require that the Van Allen radiation belt is also captured within the gravitational power of the firmament. And they stop again, and then they go on. If we might consider who created it. We know that all the planets in our galaxy, universe, call it what you will, were created by copying the same universe in the seventh dimension and by a process similar to copy-paste, like you perform in a computer, was created in the sixth dimension, which is where we live now. And once again, this was all mentioned in a previous book. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are fairly certain that no such firmament exists around any planet in the seventh dimension, so we assume that the firmament was created after the universe was created in the sixth dimension. We also know that the universe was cre created by God's archangels as a means of creating illusion for people to incarnate to. So, we must assume that the firmament was also created by God's archangels, and therefore it must have been created for a specific purpose that we have yet to discover. So, we, ha we have answered some questions. Assuming this shield does exist, we know that it would be made of thick gravity. We do not accept that it passes behind the moon, and so the shield operates at a relatively close place to the earth. By that we mean before the Van Allen belt. We also assume that it was created by the same archangels responsible for the creation of our universe, but after our universe was created. So what they've really done, instead of trying to explain where they got their information from, they've kind of posed a question and then they've answered it here through some esoteric knowledge that they've not bothered to share with us. But I can assure you they know what they're talking about, so this will be true. Um, so it remains to find out what purpose it, for what purpose it was created. Thick gravity is a powerful force, but it has its limits. Planet Earth is surrounded by thick gravity, and it is powerful enough to stop stuff from flying off, and by stuff, they mean rocks, earth, plants, animals, people, they call that stuff. But it is not powerful enough to stop aeroplanes flying in the sky, nor to stop man from sending rockets out into space. So, thick gravity, as used to make a shield we call the firmament, would not be powerful enough to stop flying craft from leaving Earth, nor to prevent flying craft from entering our atmosphere. So we do not think that it was created as an armour, and the proof is that UFOs are frequently seen entering our atmosphere or leaving, so this shield cannot be defensive. After much cogitation, we assume that it was created in order to keep our atmosphere in place around the Earth. Did you get that? They're suggesting that this shield was put in place to hold our atmosphere between the Earth and this shield. And they go on and explain a bit more of it. If, as the Earth rotates, the atmosphere could be flung off life would cease to exist. Without oxygen, hydrogen and all the other elements being kept in space but close to Earth, 
there would be no water for life to drink and no air for life to breathe. This, we believe, is the simple truth. The gravity surrounding the earth is sufficiently strong to keep rocks, plants, animals and people on the surface, but not sufficiently widespread to keep what we call air in place. Planet Earth is one of the few planets, indeed the only one, that has life as we know it on the surface and to su sustain that life has need of elements that life requires. Theref uh, oxygen, hydrogen and so on. Therefore, to stop these elements dispersing from Earth, a shield of gravity was created that keeps these elements trapped close to Earth. Thus, life as we know it continues. We note that no other planet has such a shield as no other planet has life as ours has and thus has no need of elements to help sustain life. And they stop there. So I hope you understood what they're suggesting is <clears throat> that planet Earth itself has gravity around it that stops us all flying out into space, but also from the surface of the Earth, a certain distance outwards, there's another shield of gravity, similar to that that's on the Earth, that holds the air, the molecules of air, in place. Now, it's interesting in the Bible that they talk about, the Bible talks about water. But if you think about it, oxygen and hydrogen together do make water. So... Um, maybe because there's elements of molecules of oxygen and hydrogen, also helium and God knows what, in this space trapped, that some of it makes like a water vapour in space. I don't know. I'm just suggesting the possibility. But that's what the, excuse me, that's what the so-called firmament is. It's a shield of thick gravity that holds everything that we need to breathe and that makes water it holds it all in place and stops it flying off into space okay so thank you very much once again for listening and uh i'll come back another day with another subject but if you've got any questions please ask and i'll do my best to answer as usual okay bye and thank you very much